Coming from the aviation space, as many airlines continue to suspend their operations, the latest one is Air France. The notification that we've just received is that they in fact have also suspended all their flights to Israel. We still don't have an exact date till when these flights have been suspended. Remember a short while ago, we did see Air India also issuing a similar notification, suspending all their flights till the 14th of October. Siddhant continues to be with us. Siddhant, we'll see many other airlines also in the hours to come to issue uh, similar notifications. But do we have an understanding of the current number of people still stranded in Tel Aviv in Israel? Well, there are a lot of uh, people stranded in Tel Aviv in Israel. And in fact, uh, they all want to come. Uh, uh, come out of Israel, they want to travel back uh, to their countries, including uh, uh, several Indians. We still don't have numbers of, uh, of how many Indians are stranded uh, in Israel, uh, but it goes in thousands. Now, uh, the situation is critical because uh, Israel is a small country and, you know, the Gaza Strip is a few hundred kilometers away from Tel Aviv. So the distance is not too far. And when uh, and 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 it's it's very much the airport area is very much in uh, in the range for missile uh, from Gaza to reach uh, Tel Aviv. So that particular area is is very much in in the range of 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 Hamas missile launchers. So you know that makes operations at the airport very critical. And so there is a window which uh, which uh, which. Uh, 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 in which only the landings and takeoffs are uh, usually take place. There is rush also at the airport because a lot of people want to uh, leave uh, the country uh, right now. So that is also one reason. So uh, yes, people are finding it difficult to get tickets uh, out to to move out of Israel. Even uh, you know all these major airlines have also yeah. uh, shut. Uh, the operation yeah. on this sector even air india crew have also been evacuated yeah. you only have reported that so so you know the overall situation is critical and even the uh, even all these uh, airline operators are also closely monitoring the developments uh, taking place in israel because everyone knows that the airport in tel aviv and and, and you know the entire uh, complex airport complex is very much in range of the rockets that are fired yeah. uh, from uh, from gaza strip so, sure. you know, that makes it very difficult. Yeah. So that I also want to understand another aspect from you before we move on to some other breaking developments. A short while ago, we'd also heard of reports that possibly Hamas would want to boast about the kind of hostages they've taken in. In fact, the notification was that in a few hours, we'll give an updated figure. What is the fear as far as the Israeli authorities are concerned? What is the kind of estimate that they're working with? How many hostages could Hamas have taken? Well, uh, uh, we don't have the exact numbers. Some are saying it's more than 30. Some are saying that number numbers uh, can go up to 50. Uh, so, you know, uh, that is where Hamas has uh, has a, an upper hand. It also is in a state to negotiate. You know, that is something uh, is a, a maybe what Hamas must be looking at. Because this is the first time, as I have been saying, maybe in last 50 years, not 75, then that uh, Hamas have come so close to Tel Aviv and the way they have invaded and Israeli forces were caught napping, their entire security setup got, uh, got collapsed, uh, the economic war, uh, the, uh, electronic warfare systems got collapsed. So this is for the first time this has, uh, this has happened. Okay. So, you know, I yeah. must be uh, looking at the possibility of some sort of a negotiation or also, uh, you know, uh, maybe, I mean, we really don't know what, what's going on in their minds right now. Right now, what Israel is doing is executing uh, uh, the uh, uh, executing Operation Iron okay. Sword in, Ham in Gaza Strip on Hamas uh, terror launch pad. Let's see uh, when Hamas comes out with the numbers and what's going to be their next uh, demand. But right now, the, where Gulf countries are, are standing with Palestine, the Western world, the okay. G7 nations are standing with Israel.